How's it going, everyone? My name is Lionel, and welcome to Colored Gaze. I know that this is another Yandere uh, visual novel. I don't know what to expect, but I heard it. I heard some pretty good stuff about it. So hey, let's get right into it. You can't remember the last time you've gone out of your way to do things outside of school or your part time for these past few months. It's been a struggle to live by yourself after moving out of your parents' house. That it's hard to find free time to do whatever. Having to juggle between college classes in the day and part-time into the night. However, this year will be your last year. Soon, you'll be free after you graduate. Well, more like less stuff to stress about and maybe get out of that gloomy convenience store. Besides, you turn the doorknob to your apartment, wishing you weren't so weighed down by work and class. Maybe you'd get time to relax and even meet someone nice. Ah, <sighs> I'm so beat. You groan, dropping your bag onto the wooden floor of your room, letting out a small thud. You plop yourself onto the comfort of your bed, making the most of each second of comfort you could, before preparing to work at the local convenience store in your neighborhood. Ah, uh, right. It's my shift tonight. Ah, uh, can't I ever get a break? You whine as you get rolled to your side, still tired from eight hours of college lectures. You sit back up to the side of your bed in a tired hunch, letting out a heavy and drained sigh as you contemplate whether to go out or not. I really don't want to go, but... Well, head to work, groceries won't pay for themselves. You grimace at the thought of needing to keep up with your rent and basic living expenses. As soon as you have all your needed belongings, you open your phone to text your co-worker, Avery. You said that you'll be there in a few minutes, to which you receive a monotonous reply. Okay. Hurry up! You sigh and put your phone back into your pocket and head over to your workplace. As the sun slowly sinks down the horizon, the orange sky changes into the cold, quiet night. Ah, <sighs> damn, it's so cold out already. You felt yourself shiver from the cold breeze as you neared the local convenience store where you worked. You look up to see the bright, flickering signage you all know too well. The name Convini All Day illuminated the street in purple and white colors. It was honestly such a bad taste in design. Soon, you're at the automatic glass doors of the convenience store and see Avery behind the register, scrolling through his phone like usual. You let out a deep sigh and walk through the doors as soon as they open. Ah, you're finally here. I thought you were kidnapped or something. Shame. He said in a sarcastic and annoyed tone, phone in hand and clearly wanting to get out of his shift as soon as he could. Good to see you too, Avery. Rolling your eyes in response as you made your way into the staff room. After placing your bag into one of the lockers, you quickly dress yourself into your work shirt. Suddenly, Avery went bursting in and rushing to change as well. Okay, so the manager said that I gotta leave the rest of the work to you. Since you'll be staying longer than I do, so here's all you gotta do. He hands you a piece of paper with his handwriting on it. It was definitely not from the manager. Hey, what? Okay, thanks! Avery, hold up! Bye! Before you could even finish, he waved a hand goodbye and had already sped off to God knows where. Ugh, never mind. You groaned at how you were left with your co-workers' unfinished work. Avery has always been like this. Yet, you can't even get a word out and he has the manager always by his side. I guess that's what happens when you're the favorite nephew. That damn twink. Someday the manager will catch him slacking. Despite having a cute face they so pride themselves in, the actual personality didn't quite match. You sign defeat and head back out, taking your place behind the register. You watch as very few customers walk in and browse the store as you help them with a purchase. Your usual boring part-time work just to keep up with school and apartment rent. The school allowance from your parents wasn't exactly enough to cover up city living expenses. You didn't want to bother your poor old parents to ask for more. They barely have enough for themselves from the pension. You groan, deep in thought, as the faint music from the speakers filled the store. Ah, if only they could make me full-time and would pay me more if I have to deal with- You hear the automatic doors open and find a tall figure. Suspiciously, in all black clothing, with a black face mask worn over his face and a cap. His tall stature and vibrant red eyes behind the man's glasses gave a chilling feeling up your spine. It was quite dark now, and there have been reports of dangerous activity in the area lately. 
You gulp nervously as your eyes follow his movement. Ah, uh, welcome to co company, sir. You manage to stutter out your usual employee greeting to your customer, hoping he was a customer. He raises his head and you flinch as you notice his eyes squint at you for a moment before turning around. Ah, oh, thank God. You carefully watch him around each aisle. Notice he wasn't touching any of the items on the shelves. Like any normal customer would take a look at the items at least. It was really weird. He just stared at the items on the racks, then went to the next shelf and did the same. He then turned his head in your direction, right back at you. He jumped as he took notice of your gaze on him. You yelped in surprise and looked away. Shit. He let out a hushed squeak, and you could feel yourself grow cold, taking slow, deep breaths, calming yourself in your mind. He didn't see me. He totally didn't. They're just browsing. Calm down. Hit. But then you hear a cough, as if to get your attention. <clears throat> Excuse me. You flinch in surprise as you heard a man's deep voice clearing his throat, which sounded much like a growl. You looked up, and it was the tall man with face masks. He was towering over you as he looked down, locking eyes with you. Don't look at me like that! Uh, yes, is there something you need, sir? He squeaked. The bubbling feeling of a stranger danger wells up in your chest. He slid his hand out of his pocket, and you held your breath. The way the scene looked right now wasn't good. Lowering our head down, avoiding the gaze of the red-eyed stranger. Could I get one with the red label behind you? I mean the smokes in that case. Um, Puff and puff? Huh? You lift your head back in attention and realize his hand pointing to the back at the cigarette case display. The man blinked holding his red gaze onto yours before he slid his m face mask down. Ah, sorry. Could I get a pack with the red label in that case behind you? Oh, the one that says Southern Puff. You you blinked for a second. Ah, he just wants to get a cigarette pack. You sigh in relief in your mind. He said your eyes panned down to his eerie smirk then notice his teeth were really sharp. Not to mention, the man had very vibrant red eyes. It was quite mesmerizing. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I'll get it for you, sir. Fumbling around and quickly opened the case to get the pack the customer asked for and placed it on the counter. You notice he also took a single piece of candy bar from the first shelf, which surprised you since you didn't get to see him holding it as you were too focused on watching him go around. Will that be all, sir? Yeah, that'd be all. You see this man's face fully felt strange as his features were very unique. Your fear slowly became an interest. That was fast. This caught you off guard as you saw him smirk, clearly teasing you about the way you've been staring at him the whole time he's been here. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, it's just I've never seen anyone like you before. Um, not many come in full black clothing and night with face mask. You nervously mumble as you scan his items. You gulp down the feeling of embarrassment as you try to utter out another apology to the stranger. Again, I'm sorry if I seem... You know, before you can finish your sentence, the man cut you off with a chuckle. Shh. Nah, it's alright. I get that a lot. It was colder than usual, so I had to cover up. Sorry if I scared you. He said in a much smoother tone as he reassured you that you didn't offend him in any way at all. You sighed as you smiled at the stranger. He seemed to be more calm and nicer than you thought. You watched him as he put his face mask back up, covering his face once more. Don't worry about it. Uh, sorry. Uh, what's your name? He asked as he waited for your response. You must have forgotten to put your name tag on when you changed in the staff room. Um, I guess I'll calmly answer. I mean, there's no reason to hesitate here. Uh, it's, uh, well, it's Lionel. Lionel. Hmm. Cute. No. Uh, Cute? It suits you. Your cheeks flush pink from the little compliment. So you can call me Seth. Calling me Mr. is a bit too formal for me. Uh, I see. Mr. Seth. Nice to meet you, Lionel. The way he said your name felt strange, and seeing that it's cute, you can, you can tell the way his eyes squint, smiling behind that mask. You felt your heart flutter a little. Uh, I... I see. Fiddling your fingers nervously, just gazing down onto the register screen. Still unsure of what to say, 
You weren't exactly good at small talk, and he's still a stranger after all. You okay there, Lionel? You glance back up at him in a flustered manner. You must have looked really weird just spacing out, you thought. Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, how much is it all? You're suddenly reminded of the task at hand, and you fumble around to look at the total. Ugh, right. It'll be about 25 bucks. He handed over a whole 50 bill, and as you were about to give him his change, he let out a short sigh as he instead pushed it over to your hand. No, keep it. As a tip. I would like to keep your tip, sir. <laughs> you lift your head up in surprise. He took the purchase bar and cigarettes, stuffing them back into his pocket along with the receipt as he turned his back, walking towards the door. But before he stepped down, he gives you a look over his shoulder and waved his hand. Thanks for the six, Lionel. Catch you later. Uh, come back soon. Uh, I, I mean, uh, uh, Seth, Seth. Yeah, um, thanks for coming. We turned the waving as you watched him exit the store. You sighed and looked at the change in your hand. I guess he's just a really nice guy after all. You smiled and put the change into the tip jar. You hoped to see him again soon. A few hours had passed and you haven't seen anyone come in. You let out a quick sigh, alone again in the store at the dead of night. How many people come around this time? Most of the stuff is already in place. It's incredibly cold. Not to mention how gloomy and boring the store looked overall. The owners really need to upgrade the interior design. Ah, uh, this is so boring! You groan out loud while placing your elbows against the counter lazily, your head resting against your palm. You glance down at the watch in your hand, and it wasn't even past 10 yet. You huffed out in a pout. I, I guess I'll do other stuff in the store for now. I wonder what's left to do. Standing up from your chair, and stretch to relieve a bit of stiffness from sitting for too long behind the counter. Your eyes glanced over the little to-do list your co-worker left and saw there was actually only a few things to do. Huh. Supplier delivery and restocking the fridge. Huh. For once, Avery didn't leave all the heavy stuff to you for tonight, you thought as you looked at the paper. You put the paper into your pocket and headed over to the back to restock as you waited for the delivery for the store supply. It didn't take too long for you to be able to finish up restocking the store's fridge, and you found yourself sweeping the floor. Soon enough, you hear what sounds like a heavy vehicle parking over to the side. Huh, that must be it. Joe's here earlier than expected. You hummed in attention as you put the broom to your side and headed over to the storeroom of the place. What isn't exactly fun having to move all the boxes into the storage room alone? Especially not with their usual delivery guy who just calls himself Joe something. Wasn't really all that friendly. Now that you think about it, you're surrounded by really crappy people. No wonder you're feeling drained every time you work. <sighs> and a little lonely. You sigh. You sometimes wish you could enjoy a little bit of the fun side of college. You let out a heavy breath. Then you hear a knock that followed with an unfamiliar voice from the other side of the door. Hello? Uh, this, uh, blue zip delivery service? My god, why is the delivery guy cute? You opened the door and you were met with a pair of hazelnut eyes and dark green hair. They seemed quite nervous. Um, I'll greet them back. Ah, oh, hello. I haven't seen you around here before. I thought Joe would be doing truck delivery. You tilt your head with a confused look. The man before you looked around nervously. It seemed like he wasn't used to talking much. He does look like the type to be a bit shy. After a moment, he started out a reply. Uh, Joe kinda got into an accident and is on leave, so I was told to take his place until he recovers. He had a soft, gentle, and smooth voice, you notice, despite the grim news about Joe. Ah, uh, damn. And see, I hope he recovers soon. There was a short silence between both of you. I'll, I'll introduce myself. To cut the awkward silence, you breathe in as you open your mouth to speak. Uh, so, in the meantime, since we'll be meeting more often, he looked at you with brows raised, as if surprised. Might as well get acquainted with a nervous man. I'm Lionel. You? You give a small smile and reach out your hand for him to shake in a greeting. He looks away shyly, his cheeks flustered and faint pink for a moment, before he puts his clipboard nestled to his side. Shaking your hand for a brief moment, then he replies in the same gentle tone. I, I'm Simon Lee Willows, or, or just Simon is fine. You couldn't help but smile even more. But there's just something about him that felt nice. Was it his voice? His mannerism? 
whatever it is, you hope he wouldn't be as mean as the others. Interacting with new people was always hard, especially for you, but it seems like it's the same for him. He kept apologizing for the smallest things like bumping you with his elbows by accident as you two lifted the boxes into the storeroom. Uh, I'm sorry, I must be really tough to work with. D no, don't worry, it's fine. He shrugged and pushed one of the boxes aside. Well, you don't really need to say sorry every time we bump into each other. Uh, okay, sorry. As you got to move the last box into the storeroom, Simon looked to be even more quiet throughout carrying. Did you say something mean? You looked over to him, holding his clipboard, checking off something. You walked over to him. Alright, so is there something I need to sign or... Uh, uh, Lionel, goodness, uh, yeah, here. He hands you the clipboard and as soon as you're done... Suddenly, your phone buzzed loudly in your pocket. You quickly take it out. Uh, already? Simon looks at you with a puzzled look. Is everything alright? You look back at him. The box is already inside, so... Um, I guess I'll thank him for helping me. Or kindly tell him another co-worker is about to switch. I guess I'll see him out. Okay. And it would be a shame to just shoot the poor guy away. Oh well. It's time for someone else to work at this time. Shivs, am I right? Uh, well, thank you for helping me move these boxes in. Uh, no problem. I'm glad to be of help, really. He stutters with a nervous look as he places the last box of bottled water into the shelf. You know, you're pretty cool. You see him stop for a moment and shyly turning to you. Uh, what? C cool? Y yeah, I mean, like... You pause for a moment, finding the right words to say. Giving compliments wasn't exactly your forte. So this guy seems really nice and kind compared to the other people you've been working with. Hoping maybe you'd actually have a friend who won't bail on you or something else. It's nice to have someone to properly talk to, I guess. Simon blinks for a bit and gives a small, sheepish smile. Ugh, same here. My co-workers aren't exactly nice as you, Lionel. Kinda makes it hard to come up and socialize. In a long while, you feel a bit of ease talking to someone. You two seem to have something in common, at least. Ah, <sighs> that's true. But hey, for once, I don't have to go home and gruel about my day. So, see you again next week? You smile at Simon as he returns with a shy look. You're probably overthinking, but his face looks more pink than before. I, I hope to see you again soon, too, Lionel. Drive safe, buddy. You too. Take care, Lionel. You wave your hand goodbye to Simon as he returned to his truck. As soon as you've closed the back door, you let out a huge sigh and stretch your arms. Man, those boxes were so damn heavy. Thank God for Simon. Time really does fly when you're busy doing something. Didn't think it'd already be 12. You text your co-worker back before you switch back from your uniform to your casual clothes. You took your seat back behind the register and said the co-worker arrived sooner than expected. He tightly clutched the strap of your bag and stepped out of the store, walking back home. As he walked across the street, heading home, as he let out a tired sigh, you looked around a bit and turned at a corner. Around this time, you noticed how dark it was at night. Couldn't even see a proper street sign nearby. You weren't sure if you were going through the right street at this point. He looked around again. Ah, <sighs> weird. Did I take a left earlier? Gah, I'm way too tired for this, brain. You groan in annoyance and wonder why people still aren't fixing the lights up. It's no longer a mystery why there's been a crime rise these days. Man, they really need to fix these streetlights around here. I can barely see anything with how dark it is right now. Suddenly, a freezing chill went up your back. When with how cold and dark it is, you began feeling a bit anxious with your surroundings. Ah, now I think about it. I should really be... What? You feel your heart beating faster. Startled by the sudden noises coming from behind you. Okay, I really need to hurry. Hmm. Your blood ran cold as you heard it again, turning your back again to see if there was anyone. It seemed like you were the only one in the street. Was someone following you? You gulped at the terrifying thought. You held your back close and kept walking at a faster pace. Whoever's following me, 
I need to lose them. Where do I go? Oh, I don't think it is the right tone, but whatever. Like, this is me saying this. Like, I want to announce to the world that I am well aware of the fact that I'm being stalked at the moment. And I will not stand for this. Yeah, I shall not be stalked. I will be the stalker of the stalkers. I, I, I don't know where this is going. Um, left. Left we go. I'll turn a left. There's more light I do. Yeah. You suddenly bumped into someone, make you stumble a bit, and grab onto the person's sleeve. Looking up with a panicked expression, you feel yourself shaking a bit from the knees. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump into you. I, I think I'm being followed and... Oh dear, take deep breaths. You looked at the man. He did seem very concerned. Taking a few deep breaths helped calm you down. Thankful that someone was around to help. Are you alright, dear? Yeah, I, I, I think I heard someone else's steps, but... Uh, sorry. I must have been hearing things. You found yourself still holding on to him, which made your cheeks flush pink and quickly let him go. He does look very dapper. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to hold on to you like that. Ah! He gave you a small smile. It's all right. For now, it would seem no one's on your tail. Really? Are you sure? You gulped nervously, still shaken up from such an encounter. Yeah, I don't see any other person other than you. Sighing in relief from the reassurance as you patted down your clothes, shaking off that uneasy feeling. Oh, thank goodness. I thought it was a goner. Yeah, right. I'm Lionel. I guess the stress and darkness was making me a little jumpy. The man looked quite handsome. He had a prominent British accent. He nods and puts his hand out for a handshake. You reached out and your eyes widened in surprise as he held it gently, leaning down to kiss the back of your hand. Nice to meet you, Lionel. I'm Zachary. Sack for short, if you rather say. Your face turned red from the gesture, looking away shyly. You felt him let go of your hand, and you laughed nervously. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, do you usually do that when you meet new people? You asked jokingly, a bit weirded out from the whole gentlemanly gesture from Zack. Zack chuckled from your question. Well, you could say that. Does that make you uncomfortable? Well, not really, but... I'm just not used to such things. I I don't really mind, though. He smiled softly, and you put your gaze up to him. It was quite charming. He must be popular with people. You then remembered you were supposed to be home by now as you checked your phone for the time. Ah, shoot, it's so late. I got class at 7. I I'm sorry, but I, I have to get home. Oh, well, do be careful on your way home. I heard a few bad things happen around here. Yeah, but I can manage myself from here. Thanks for helping me, though. It was really nice meeting you. Zack. Mmm. I hope to see you again, Lionel. Take care. You wave goodbye to Zack and hurry over to your apartment. You're back into the comfort of your own home, plopping down onto the bed, exhausted from work. Damn. Tonight's been eventful. I didn't think I'd run into so many different people. But I guess it wasn't all that bad. As you felt your eyelids grow heavy from tiredness, you drifted off to sleep as you lay on your bed, in the cold and comforting darkness. To be content. Well, you told me I just see three cute guys and that's it. Well, I guess it's a taster. Well, that was Colored Gaze. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey, the art's, the art's cute and I'm actually wondering what's going to be happening next. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And if there's any games you guys want me to check out, just let me know in the comments below. I would love to check them out. And anyway, I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. This is Lionel. Signing off. Ciao.